Um, have any of you experienced a beating um, with a belt from your friends who are upset at you or something? Yeah? Yeah. Good. Um, for those who don't know what a belt is, <laughs> which I'm sure you all do, um, a belt is usually made of leather and sometimes heavy clothing. Um, my parents are from Guatemala, and in my culture, um, belts are used for a lot of reasons, but the two main reasons are for um, support and um, support and clothing and discipline. Um, so I will talk about, I will first discuss how um, belts are made in Guatemala, and I'll talk how um, I identify with this culture. So um, in Guatemala, women are usually the ones who love making belts. Um, it is because um, traditional belts are harder to make, and the process takes much longer. Um, and women in this culture, they actually love, they love it. My mom makes, she knits during winter most of the time. Um, she knits like, I'm gonna say like gloves and sometimes beanies. I think it's like pretty cute, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, these women, these women first start off by picking like their favorite um, colors of threads. And after that, once they have their, their choices, they place them on this table right here. And what this table does is that it helps them determine um, the thickness that they want the belt to be. So once they have that, they um, they put the strings in between this thing called the uh, the black strap loom, and this allows them to uh, to to uh, make the belts a bit stronger. Oh, it allows them to form the belts, and then they end up being something like this. Um, as you guys can tell, that the process is pretty tough and takes time. Um, so now that I discussed how um, belts are made in Guatemala, I'm going to identify with this culture. So back in 2006, um, my father, my, my grandfather passed away, and um, my mom, my mom had to go to Guatemala to uh, to go spend time with the family. So I was about eight years old, and she took me with her. And um, when when I we, when we landed, she uh, my aunt was there, my tia Nora, which was um, which is my mom's sister, and she picked us up, and she took us to my grandma's house, and. Um, when I got there, everybody was there, like the family, all my mom's family, and it looked, it was all the good stuff, you know. Um, I, I saw my, my cousins, most of the girls were wearing belts similar to that, but they had them like strapped on like this, and they were like tied. And I noticed that they weren't using them for support, they were just like using them for fashion. And when I was here, when I was there in Guatemala, I came across these belts a couple of times. Um, another time was when my uncle was in the rancho and he was with his horse. Yeah, he had like he was using one of these belts, something like that, and he was working the horse so like start cariando, which is like start running. Um, another time was when I was in my cousin's house and my, my little cousin named Tony, um, and he was messing around and I was watching TV. When I saw, I mean, I was just watching TV, my business, and he was messing around and he wasn't listening. So my, my aunt, she screamed at him from across the room. She was in the kitchen. She was like, Tony, um, calmate por favor, and he wasn't listening. So. I don't know where she just comes like, 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 in the <laughs> and, she, and she dropped, she has like the belt wrapped down the hand like that, and with this part of it, like she just whips him, on, whip, whips him on his back, and his reaction was funny because um, <laughs> he got hit and he stood like in this position, like this, and <clears throat> for some of you, I don't know, but for me, um, like when I go, when I saw my cousins, I thought it was funny the way they talked and how they reacted to things. So once he got hit, he kind of cursed and he was like, puta madre, and then <laughs> he just started crying. And then, um, yeah, that's that's what I remember. Um, so when I look at a belt, um, I, I don't just think of it as an object. It actually um, reminds me of how Guatemala was for me. And it, uh, and um, I also noticed the different ways that, um, that belts are helpful for my people over there. 